The Tri-State Hindu Temple and Cultural Center inaugurated its newly constructed temple earlier this fall. The three-day event included prayer, chants, and mantras to sanctify the space for their deities. Tim Jagalo of Evansville Public Broadcasting Station WNIN attended the event. Oh, yeah. What you're seeing is very special and very rare. The inauguration ceremony of a brand new Hindu temple in Newburgh, Indiana. It's so rare, in fact, that most members of this Hindu community have never experienced this either, and likely never will again. Karuna Pandit is a member of the Tri-State Hindu Temple and Cultural Center in Newburgh. But because it's the first time I'm, you know, I'm seeing all these uh, uh, DTs here together. This is the, today is the first time when you were recording. We also saw them the first time, and that is like it's the opening of the temple, basically. So that's why it's so special. It's called the Pran Pradeshta which is bringing life into the temple and welcoming and sanctifying the Hindu deities in their new home. Many of the deities are sculpted of white marble. So we had been working for three days. The deities came from India, and then most of the ceremonies are just sanctifying, you know. You know, a lot of chantings and then uh, bathing and then offering flowers, offering, you know, different, doing different chanting ceremonies. So it was all like sanct sanctification process. The ceremonies repeated for each deity, whether Saraswati, Vishnu, Balaji. There are several new Vigurhas, or to put it crudely, the sculptures of the deities. They all come from India carved in Rajasthan in southern India. Pandit says they present several deities to satisfy the varied spiritual beliefs of the community, which hails from all over India. This, this way everyone, uh, who, whatever they're connected with, whoever they're connected with, they can come and pray. Okay. Sanjay Mishra of Evansville is a member of the temple. And it's uh, one of the um, things that happens once in a lifetime, you know, where, where there's a lot of deities and idols uh, that are brought into the temple after a lot of invocation and prayers. Uh, and this is something very, uh, uh, very important, you know, to the, uh, to the Hindu community overall. He says about 900 attended over the weekend, drawing as far away as Louisville. The community itself numbers about 600. Before this new temple was constructed, there was no dedicated space for prayer and worship, just one big room the teens also used for their activities. Of course, there's also lots of food and food offerings. We offer everything to God. We water, fruit, flowers, everything. Once offered to the deities, the food can be eaten by people. After the sanctifying ceremonies are cultural events like dancing. There's also raffles and ice cream. To Hindus, these deities are different aspects or manifestations of God. Such a ceremony makes Karuna Pandit feel closer to God. It feels emotional, it feels very good, and you just feel like all other thoughts have just vanished, just gone. It's just you and God. I'm Tim Jagalow, WNIN News.